All right, our last example here, we're given two sides of a triangle and inc an, an included angle, and we want to find the area of the triangle. So let me draw out what we know. We've got a side of length 5 and a side of length 6. And the included angle, we're told, is 60 degrees. And I want to find the area of the triangle. So what I'd like to do is find the length of the third side of the triangle. I can do that since I know side angle side, I'm given side angle side, I can find the length of the third side using the law of cosines. So I'll do that first. Once I know the length of all three sides, I'm going to use Heron's formula to find the area of the triangle. So let me write down the law of cosines. That says c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cosine of capital C. Now that's really useful if you know two sides and an included angle because if you call those two sides A and B, that makes C the third side and capital C will be the angle in between A and B because it should be opposite little c. And so we can plug all those into this formula and solve for little c. So C squared is equal to 25, that's 5 squared, plus 6 squared is 36, minus 2 times 5 times 6 cosine of angle C, which is 60 degrees. So 25 plus 36 is 61. Minus 2 times 5 times 6 is 60. Cosine of 60, now that's a common value. I know that one. That's pi over 3. And I know the cosine of pi over 3 is 1 half. So this is 61 minus 30, which is 31. That was C squared. And so c is equal to the, to the square root of 31, which is approximately equal to, let me call that up on my calculator, 5.6. So my third side here is approximately equal to 5.6. Now I'm going to go to the next slide to finish this, so let me fill in what I just figured out. I knew I had 5 and 6, and I just figured out that the third side was approximately 5.6. That, that angle was 60, but we aren't going to be using that anymore. Um, now I, I want to find the area of the triangle. Since I know three sides already, this is going to be really quick using Heron's formula. Heron says that the area is equal to S, the, the square root of s times s minus a, s minus b times s minus c. Now you have to know what s is. s is the semi-perimeter, so 1 half times the full perimeter, a plus b plus c. So let's work that out first, then we'll drop that into Heron's formula. So this is 1 half of 5 plus 6 plus 5.6. That's 5 plus 6 is 11, plus 5.6 is 16.6. So 1 half of 16.6 is 8.3. Now I'm going to drop that into Heron's formula and also the lengths of the three sides because I took some, some trouble to work out the lengths of the third side, the length of the third side. So my S is 8.3. Then I have 8.3 minus the first side, 5. 8.3 minus the second side is 6. And finally, 8.3 minus the third side is 5.6. And now it's just a matter of simplifying the numbers. So 8.3 times 3.3 times 2.3, and 8.3 minus 5.6 is 2.7. So I'll multiply those numbers together. And what I get is 
170.1. So I'll have to take the square root of that. And I get just about 13.04 as my area. So let's, let's recap what we needed to do for that problem. We were given two sides and an included angle. So that's side, angle, side. And we wanted to find the area of the triangle. Now we used some different methods in the previous prob problems. This time, what we used was the law of cosines to find the third side. So we used the law of cosines there. And that was really useful because the law of cosines um, is, is perfect when you have side, angle, side. You just drop the side, angle, side into your law of cosines and it tells you what the third side is. So once you have all three sides, then you use Heron's formula, which gives you this nice formula for the area. Doesn't look at the angles at all. It just uses the three sides and this quantity S, but then S just comes back to plopping in the three sides into the semi-perimeter formula. So we work out the semi-perimeter formula, came out to 8.3, drop that in for the S in Heron's formula, drop the three sides in, and then just simplify it down to find the area of the triangle. So what I hope you've taken away from this is that there are several different ways you can find the area of a triangle. You can use the law of cosines, Heron's formula. Um, we also use SOHCAHTOA and one-half base times height. Uh, different methods work better in different situations, but they all help you find the area of a triangle. So these are the trigonometry lectures for educator.com. Thanks for watching.